in this video I'm going to um, be continuing by uh, moving on to another interesting part of um, Visual Studio remember this is a quick start guide this is not um, um, an intensive or the full tutorials on how to use everything about Visual Web Developer this is just to get you up and running quickly I've introduced you to the basic uh, menu how to put menu master page uh, using database and pulling data out of the database now uh, what I want you to introduce you tonight is how to create a membership membership website so that people can be able to register on your website with a username and your and the, with their username and their password <coughs> so just like everything about Visual Studio this is also very easy so uh, what I'm going to create is another page called a login page so um, I want to have a login page and um, so let's add it so let's go back to the solution explorer let's add a page called uh, actually before we have a login page we need to have a register page isn't it <coughs> register dot aspx so we're going to select the master page as well and uh, also we need a login isn't it login page so let's add both both pages now login dot aspx so what do you do when you create a page you should always remember when you create a page you should open your web dot sitemap and make sure you add it to the page so uh, even though I've shown you how to do the <coughs> okay let's leave that one let me continue by hiding a sitemap node uh, what just happened That's not what I want really, but it's okay. So uh I want the URL URL to be uh register dot ASPX uh tie to to be register description to be register here. Yeah. I can just simply copy and paste, isn't it? So instead of giving myself a headache, copy and paste. So let me just modify this to be a login. So I'll do this for the login page as well. I want it to be login and uh, I want it to be login.spx. <coughs> so if we go back to our master page and refresh it, we should uh, come on save no master page refresh <coughs> no it's not sometimes it can be silly but um, you see we have it there but we just can't see it on the application so we have the register and we have the login page so now in order to enable users on their website this is the first thing you do you go to the the main core website and you go to asp.net configuration this is where you configure all your users on your website so there are one important um, settings that you need to do Uh, let's look at security uh, all right it said the current authentication type is Windows user management from within this tool is therefore disabled so you see we cannot you do user management so you want to change the authentication type to from the internet and I'll read it for you so you understand what it does select this option if users will access your website from the public internet that sounds like ours right 
user will be required to log on using a web form. The site will use forms or authentication to identify user. Unlike the other or previous one which was selected, select this option if users will access your website only from a private local network. That's not what we're trying to achieve. So we have to select that. That's the very important thing that you have to do. Now you can create users. <coughs> you know, you can create users on your application. And um, so let's create one user. And uh, uh, let's put the username to be username one password <laughs> this one is hard you have to choose a really hard password with letters number and a character yep otherwise it will not allow you I'm telling you just have to believe me but I'm gonna show you how to change that because you don't want to hassle your oh uh, you don't want to hassle <coughs> secret question what is your name okay you can make these active or not I'll ch show you how to change this because um, <coughs> if you do not you'll be hustling your users right so we've added one user onto the website <coughs> do you not understand what that means let me show you what that means now that we have one user on our website if I go to the login page the login page if I go to the design view if I drag the login form login into the content place order because the user has already been created which I just created now that means I'll be able to log into the application do you believe me let's try <coughs> because I've already created a user so now let's log in with remember it's username one and the password I won't tell you so I can say login do you want to remember why not yes look we had locked in you don't believe it right let's try a username that we never let's choose this and let's try just put anything I'm just putting anything let's log in no can you see your login attempt was not successful because there was no user as such but just like every other thing in life we don't want to be going to the uh, back end to be uh, modifying the username by ourselves. We want the, be able, the user to be able to create you know user by themselves from the website itself. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do that exactly.